out the Gilbert slanted sled engine here. We're going to start working on this. I've got a bunch of days off and it's crappy outside. So awesome. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grind this down right in there. Get rid of that little ledge there. Grind that back right in there. This will just give the water a little bit better of a path. So that way it got, gets in there a little easier. Then right in here, we're going to get rid of that ledge right there. Down inside there. So that way the water has a little bit better... I'm sorry, the oil kind of goes back, sorry. And then we're going to do these little holes right here. We're going to kind of, you know, smooth those out. I'm going to smooth this one out right in there also. Then we're going to drill hole out here, a little bit bigger, put a set screw in there. And then for the fuel pump, we're going to drill a hole all the way across up into there. And then put a little set there. So that way it drips a little bit of oil onto that and and uh, that's that's what we got going right now so yep moving on lots of grinding you can already see some of the difference i'm making right here got rid of this hump and you're just trying to smooth this in get rid of this there's there's a little ridge that just kind of runs right down here you got to get rid of uh, down in here too try not there's a bolt hole right here try not to get to that but right in here you want to thin this out right here so that way the water can get back there. So that's what I'm going to do is I have a, a longer reach one now. It's a thinner one and I'm going to get in there with that. Now remember, we're not trying to pour it ahead here. We're just trying to improve the, the amount of air uh, flu, uh, fluid flow. So that way it kind of can get back into that direction back there that I'm pointing at. Because that is really pinched off. So you can see that that has been greatly opened up from where it was before. Now, up in here, there's a bolt right up in there. That's the bottom of a bolt, so you got to be careful. This bolt right here that goes down, right here. This one right here, that goes down and stubs out right there. So when I turn this over, I'm just going to just flatten that out slightly, but you don't want to go too deep because you will cut into it. I've done it before. So uh, basically what you're really trying to do is just kind of curve this in right here, open up this area, and then right in here, just kind of take that little flat out right there. And that should take care of everything. And then right in here, I'm going to turn this upside down and I'll show you. Okay, the block's turned upside down and you can see that little tit right there. You just want to clean up those tits and then just knock the corner off of that thing. Just clean that up. Nothing crazy because you will get into that bolt hole. That's the last thing you want to do. So I'm just going to clean it up just slightly, get rid of that lump, and clean the flat. See, I didn't take much out. All I did was just take the flat off just to kind of open it up and smooth it out. So that's all you're trying to do. Nothing crazy. Just uh, All you're trying to do is just take some of the edges away to help move some, some volume. That's all you're trying to do is move volume. All right. Water pump area is done. Yeah, yeah. Next thing I'm doing is I'm drilling for the fuel pump so that way I can get a little oil onto that. Here's the angle that you want to kind of get it at. If you kind of notice, look at how it's close to that but not touching it. And the way it comes out, I'm going to flip this thing over and show you how it comes out at. So it comes out right in between there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big... Uh, drill bit and then just kind of touch the top of that so all the oil that comes down in there will pool up and then go down through there there's also a drain back here but this one right here will catch some of the oil that's coming back onto this and send it down through there and it does help quite a bit there you go that's that and then i'm going to hit that little bit and then i'll just show you that when that's all done all right so this right here is the fuel pump be careful because this right here is your main oil galley. So when you're doing this, you just want to make sure that you're just taking off the ridges. Because remember, this thing leans over, you know, 30 degrees over. So it's like this. So if there's any ridge there and it's not sloped, it's going to come back in. And then that right there, you can kind of see where I made a little lump right in there. So that way, as the oil comes down, it pools up and then goes down into the hole. So... That's that, and then now I'm going to be moving on to basically just getting this right here, this area right in here, 
just kind of take out that corner right there and that corner right there so that way it just takes away some of the sharp edge and, all, and helps with flow uh, and then right in here too this is where the pickups at I usually just knock the corner off of that and this thing's uh, ready to go moving on before after before after all you're trying to do is just you, you're just trying to smooth out the area and you're just trying to clear it out so didn't go crazy just smoothed it out and obviously you're not going to make it any more hold more volume you're just going to allow the fuel the, the oil to get into the hole a little cleaner whenever it goes around a sharp corner that's where you're going to have issues so that's all I'm doing so I'm going to get this side and moving on not sure how long this video is going to be but you can kind of see how I got that in there, got rid of that, cleaned up all these. whole idea is just we're looking for flow. That's all it is. No sharp corners. I got rid of all that down in there. You can see how I smoothed all that out. And, you know, this is the turny, turny, turn. And underneath here, I got that coming up right there. That's the hole that I drilled. Um, I know that that's going to hit the top side of the fuel pump, but yet um, a lot of it's going to flow back down onto it, so that way it gets a little bit of splash. Now, the, this rod right here is shooting oil, so it's going to shoot oil there, uh, but this, this will just help. And, yeah, so this is kind of it for this right here, this installment, as far as grinding on the block. Um, as far as putting the set screw in, I might change it up and put it in the head so I can show you guys different sizes and how much flow it allows. So I might do that in the head to where I can just get to it. Anyways, this is it for this block. Uh, this is installment. Uh, I've done enough grinding and crap for the first day of my Christmas vacation. I went downtown to look for a job. Actually, that's summer vacation. I got a job. Come on, you know the next line. Hang, keep people from hanging out in front of the drugstore. So, yeah. If you don't know it, you haven't lived. All right. Well, this is it. I will have more. Later. Later.